Hi, I'm Sylvie, and this is part 8 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. When you add levels to your Christmas Village, you need to ensure that they are all connected between them. It is a cardinal scene to live a level secluded. Let's imagine for a moment that I will leave my village as it is now simply adding all the buildings and everything else. And let's have Simon the Baker, his activity, his family, his wife, his three children, down to ground level. And let's have the school up here to the fourth level. Well, I think that his three children will simply be illiterate all along their lives because they don't have access to any kind of education. Just take a look around and you realize that I'm not exaggerating. Hey, look, this is my village for this year and I haven't added a second level, two feet on top of the first one. No, those are your two separated villages, not your village. I know I'm rude, but I can't help when people don't even use a minimum of common sense. From time immemorial, shacks, villages, cities, metropolis have always been connected with each other. And each city district needs roads, streets, avenues to be connected to other districts. But also footbridges and stairs. Please allow me to show you some of the techniques I use to build them and connect my levels.
I have spared you the awful sound of my voice all along this eighth part of the tutorial series. But unfortunately for you, you have to endure it at least during this quick final recap. So you have seen me using different techniques to build the stairs and the foot bridge. And for the first time uh, this year, I've decided to make uh, 19 degree turning stairs. Um, and this is the final result and I have half uh, the uh, stairs uh, going one direction and then the other half direction going uh, 90 degrees uh, to the left. Uh, I use, uh, as you have seen, uh, uh, tin foil to uh, age all my um, steps and platform also and this is the result. I will employ it as one of my main stairs. The footbridge. Uh, let me just adjust the, the camera a little bit because I'm aware that uh, uh, when I filmed the making of this bridge not all the details were clearly uh, visible. I'm sorry for that. Uh, it is obviously an arc uh, bridge. It is supported by two arcs, uh, one from each uh, side. I've tried to be as symmetrical as possible this time with the uh, mini support pillars and the, um, the arc and the main uh, pillars. Um, all the forces are equally distributed all along the, the arc and I'm applying right now a big amount of weight and uh, anything is cracking fortunately and the uh, bridge is uh, uh, very uh, solid um, this is the final result not a perfect bridge i know but it is a correct uh, um, solution for having a foot bridge uh, up there between the two levels the, the two third levels I've also added some, uh, uh, some uh, styrofoam balls here just to get a better look uh, to the bridge. Uh, anything uh, complicated. It, is, it has been very long to build, uh, especially the mini support pillars here, uh, <coughs> because uh, they have they had to be uh, cut uh, one by uh, one. And by the way, uh, this footbridge and uh, all the stairs, uh, uh, it's obviously that I've uh, planted them uh, some hours before starting the buildings. Um, I generally use a 3D uh, software, uh, precisely Rhino 3D, to design and project all my uh, street furniture, all my uh, stairs, all my uh, bridges. Maybe I just think uh, somewhere now a uh, little footage concerning um, the, the, the project of the, the bridge and, uh, or, and the stairs, uh, one or maybe all the stairs, I don't know. Uh, I will see during the last uh, editing. And this is the uh, main footbridge. Next one. The next one is another stair. And this time it is a straight stair. Uh, I will use it to climb 12 uh, centimeters of height. Uh, the exact same height of, uh, uh, of a level. You can see here that I will climb perfectly those 12 centimeters here. I will not use <laughs> these stairs there but uh, uh, it is a good example. Um, with the same technique you can have a straight uh, um, stair with a little platform and uh, simply adding uh, some platform on top of it and uh, some uh, uh, thin walls to have it completely uh, covered. I've just added a little platform because uh, last year 
Uh, by the way, let, let me just uh, show you uh, some of last year uh, stairs. Um, last year, this one was the stairs and the platform I used to cross over the uh, main railroad that was, gross, uh, that was rolling under this, uh, this structure. And it is massive. It is big. Same thing with the main, uh, with the main uh, uh, stair. This one also f 12 centimeters of eight, and it was one of the, my main uh, stairs. And this one, this one to gain access, if I remember correctly, from uh, second level to third level, it has a huge platform here. And but they also give ugliness to the village and they stole a big amount of debt. I know last year the railroad was rolling under this platform, but here we have uh, 12 centimeters and another 10 to 12 centimeters there, so 24 centimeters of debt are stolen by this structure. I didn't want this to happen for this year village, so I've uh, rethinked all uh, uh, the uh, stairs and the platform uh, system. That's why I'm, um, I'm gone with a uh, little platform like there and mini stairs like this one. I know it is incomprehensible for you to uh, get to where I want to use this. And also a mini, uh, a mini turning uh, stairs like the, f the biggest one like this one will start by climbing one direction then 90 degrees turn left for the last two steps of the um, of the climbing uh, i don't know if i've uh, uh, mentioned it during uh, the uh, making of these uh, uh, little uh, mini stairs by the way i know uh, i wasn't talking but i don't remember uh, if I mentioned it before, but I've also used some uh, three millimeters uh, uh, styrofoam panel. Now this one, this gray one, has only three millimeters of eight. And sometimes three millimeters are useful when with nine millimeters of eight you can you can't reach the desired eight you need for completing. Uh, your little uh, furnitures and the, that's all I think yes uh, unfortunately this video is at, at least uh, half an hour long I think maybe less maybe more I don't know yet and I will not have the time to show you exactly where I want to put all of this uh, it will be the subject of next video, but I've already started uh, doing it. Let me uncover it. I've uh, just uh, started using the same technique as with the railroad and add uh, this little support. Uh, I will not ruin you the surprise. Stairs and foot bridges doesn't matter if you buy them or make them by yourselves are essential. A vital important, but the dimension have to be considered carefully if you don't want to ruin the overall aspect of your village. Last year I got some positive feedbacks for having used the stairs, but after watching and re-watching my video many and many times, I realized how ugly they can be if placed in key points of your depth of view, especially if they are huge. So this year I decided to go as discreetly as possible with them. For example, I tried to reduce their dimension or I've adopted some mixed solution. I know you haven't seen it yet, but I will never, and I repeat, never give up on them. For next video, I will have all of them painted and placed and I will show you some of those mixed solutions. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching.
Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time. Thank you.